Hi, I remember the first time when I heard about AI gradient, I really got scared and confused. What is this? And by the way, the term gradient, it is just a kind of irritating to international people, really. We don't like this term. Anyway, but we have to understand what's this. So imagine this is the alveoli and the alveoli is surrounded by the capillary epithelial or capillary wall. This is the capillary, pulmonary capillary and the pulmonary capillary, usually there is arterial system. Sorry, there is a venous system here and the arterial system here. So if you think about the partial pressure of a partial pressure of O2 at the alveoli here during an inspiration around 100 millimeter mercury and the venous system around 40 millimeter mercury I'm talking about P O2 in the venous system now as a result of here look it is 40 per it is 40 and mixed with 100 now mixed with 100 so the final thing in the arterial system would be partial pressure of A O2, I mean the arterial system will be 95. So as a result of this, if you if you if you compare it to this equation, so this is alveolar 100 minus A, which is 95, the normal gradient will be 5. This is just normal. There is equation behind that, which is pay partial pressure of alveolar O2 equal 150 minus 150 minus um, partial pressure of arterial. Look, this is arterial CO2 over 0.8 so once you have this alveolar and in the case they already they mention you arterial you can see the difference whether it is more than five or less than five now what is the problem first when you will you when you will use a gradient in the question so we'll see in the case for example here in the case of you know, at the day of the test you will see he gave you or he will give you partial pressure of arterial let us say O2 or alveolar O2 or the, he will say HCO3 concentration like this pH of the patient like this and uh, what else PCO2 like this partial alveolar CO2 whatever, whatever you will see once we will see a lot of numbers you got confused what's going on what's he talking about because he gave you he will give you a lot of these numbers for only reason which is maybe two reasons first you need to know whether metabolic respiratory alkalosis is or acid based problem and the other thing is he asks you to calculate a gradient this is this is really very very important now what are the causes of let us divide a gradient into two big categories if it is high a gradient or low if it is high a gradient against Again, 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 let's start with anatomy part if it is high A gradient. Once you will understand what's going on, on the, what's going on in the anatomy, you can easily. Now, again, this is the alveoli, this is the alveolar. Look, look at the alveoli and look at the sorry, bronchial wall. As, as the end of result of bronchi, this is the alveoli. Look at the alveoli, it is really so, so small and collapse. This is one. And second, as a second cause, the alveoli, uh, bronchial wall and alveoli, you don't have any problem here with alveoli, right? You don't have any problem with alveoli. Now, in the first example, you don't have a problem with capillary epithelial. So this is the capillary, pulmonary capillary is okay, but the problem is alveoli collapse as a result of this alveoli collapse. Look, look, the alveoli collapse, so I cannot, the oxygen cannot go from alveoli down. Oxygen cannot go from alveoli down because already, because already I have here oxygen, good amount, but here I don't have oxygen because why? The alveoli just collapsed, so I will call this cause ventilation ventilation defect so i will call this cause ventilation defect if you compare it to another problem look the alveoli is okay and here the al uh, when your alveoli is okay so the oxygen can go to the pulmonary but the problem is where in the pulmonary look look at the look at the pulmonary the pulmonary is just obstructed the pulmonary is just obstructed by pulmonary embolism like and we call this feature is perfusion is perfusion a problem so this is perfusion a problem these are the two common causes of high AA gradient now let's talk about the final example imagine this is the alveolar wall again this is the alveolar wall that is this more horizontal section and this is the capillary wall the problem sometimes with alveolar wall there's a kind of infiltration so we can we can call this fibrosis of alveoli fibrosis of the alveoli as a result of this alveolar fibrosis now look 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 at this oxygen the oxygen here is okay here is okay boom he cannot move down he cannot move down why because there is fibrosis problem or interstitial fibrosis so we can call this defect is diffusion 
he cannot diffuse not he sorry oxygen cannot diffuse because of what because of fibrosis or interstitial problem these are really big big features of high all of these of high AA gradient high AA gradient now another category is which is normal AA gradient think about extra pulmonary cause this is really so easy any extra pulmonary cause it's normal normal AA gradient so what is what I mean by extra pulmonary cause look first you have brain tissue also in the medulla and the medulla respiratory center Medulla is a respiratory center is, is responsible for respiration, right? So if it, you have defect in medulla, now you have normal air gradient and hypoxia at the same time. Second, if you have airway problem like the bronchioles or so like the bronchi, look, this is the airway problem like the bronchi or trachea, for example, para influenza virus, influenza virus, epiglottitis, group patient. So here you are dealing with airways problem, not lung problem, and it's also normal NA gradient. And finally, if you have problem with chest wall, this is chest wall, or have diaphragmatic problem, so like in the case of amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, so all of these problems are outside. All of these problems lead to normal A gradient, extra pulmonary, while the pulmonary cause of a problem is high A gradient, and by the way, in this type, this is hypoxia, the patient here is hypoxia, and the patient is extra pulmonary, also hypoxia. So these are just the causes of hypoxic patient, whether the AA gradient is high or low.